Today's demo about uh, the Graphatar module, which is globally recognized avatar. I think this module has been asked from a while in Order Core, but I think it disclosed for unknown reason. Anyhow, uh, now if we notice here, there's an icon in the user menu, just a simple font awesome icon. Now we are able to change it using the Graphatar module. Now, when I enable this module, by default it will take the the current user email and convert it to the Graphatar. Now, if I go to the profile and provide a proper email, for example, my email because I have a Graphatar. Notes my Graphatar shows up. This is one thing. Uh, uh, let me return back the email. There's also a setting that you can set the default avatar if you don't have an avatar set. I will go to the app settings. I'm not sure if the my VS window is shown or not. No, nope, just a browser. OK, that's why I'm not sure how to. Sorry, I will did it. OK, VS. VS, VS, sorry, 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 sorry. This one, OK. When I go to the app settings, there is a Graphatar section. That you can set the default image that should show up in case there is no avatar. Let me build it. And come back again. I think that's weird. I Still, I'm stuck with sharing. <laughs> Sorry. So now, when I refresh the website, it will choose uh, the default image that I set in the app settings. I think that's it. That's all for the Gravatar. Nothing much here. How do you uh, know, how does it know that there is no image? Do you, have, do you provide an extra parameter to say this? Is yes, correct? yes, yes. There is an extra parameter that you should pass the default image and it will automatically will set. Also, there what is a filter. <clears throat> Why you have a settings for the size of the image? OK, I uh, I just deleted OK from the night build because maybe the user wants to change the size in different pages. So I think it is a bad idea to make it globally. Well, At make it just a shape and let the theme take care of that responsibility now. Yes, yes, uh, for this one it is OK, but I'm asking myself, maybe I have different pages and I want different sizes. So if I made it as a global, it is a bad idea for that. Well, if you make it a shape right on the top, it can be, you know, in a specific display mode. And if you want to display it so like on the top, it will be an admin summary. But if you want it somewhere else, for example, you can make it admin hashman, uh, you know, or Sham, I don't care. Right. But I oh. think if you if you make it part of a ship, I don't know. Uh, Sebastian okay. might be have better feedback, but I would think that yes, might be but, better. Yes, but for this demo, I just override the user menu shape and I display the Graphatar image. Also, there's one more thing so for example here 
just forgive me because I'm still stuck, stuck with the sharing option here. Let me. Oh, I probably switch back and forth between VS. Okay, there's I think there's option. Do you see? see now. Okay, okay, I just find it. Okay. There's a page here. Where is it? Uh, uh, here, demo. Also, I created a, a liquid filter called, uh, for example, here I have just a simple liquid template. Just display a static image. Now, if I want to try to use the filter, Uh, to Graphatar. So this is the liquid filter. Now when I build it, it should choose the Graphatar for each user if all goes well. Okay, just a second. I will check the. Maybe I did something wrong with two graphitar. Where is the graphitar module? Sorry, startup. Email. Sorry, emails, it's an array email. I hopefully it is time. A weird liquid loop. <laughs> yes, I probably use dot liquid file. And if you notice, all the avatar shows up from within the liquid template. Just I have one question here uh, because maybe I don't have experience with this. I heard previously, I think from you or one of you guys, there is a, uh, you can convert, I think, tag helper to filter or vice versa. Because here I have one tag helper for razor pages and one liquid filter. Yeah, that's better. There is a there is an automatic uh, conversion from tag. E helpers to liquid filters, but you don't want to use that because it's slow. So oh. it's better to define the two of them because then otherwise it has to use reflection every time it's rendered. For all the parameters of the tag helper, it will generate a new, yeah, it's, 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 it's super slow. So historically when I migrated to Fluid2, I redefined all the tag helpers as liquid filters or yeah, just because yeah, manually. Not. Th th I think there is still one or two which are automatic, but you should define the two of them. It's it's better. Okay. Okay. Because okay. here I, I I just define two: one tag helper and one graphiter filter. Okay. Okay. That is the first. I would demo. change the name from two gravatar to gravatar. I don't I don't understand why the two underscore is there because a filter is like pipe gravatar. It's like pipe for okay. <laughs> And yes. maybe you need two of them, the same way for tag helpers, uh, maybe, tag maybe not, but filters, maybe you want just this, the, the URL, and maybe you want a tag with um, an image tag, maybe you want also an argument which is the, the size. Yes, yes, for just IDs. For the, yes, for tag helper, I think. Yeah, you could have size, sure. and, yeah. Yes, yes. And, other parameters. Yes. And if Thank it's just you. returning a URL, maybe it should be called Gravatar URL and not Gravatar. I I don't know. Just to be explicit, that it's a URL. That it's a URL. Yes. Or, uh, or does it make sense to just display? That's maybe fine. Also, we we need to be consistent with the image tag where we say like asset URL or asset. And okay. Asset, I don't know. Okay. Also, probably we could add a property for add some CSS classes in case someone. Wants not change the style for that image. Okay. That's why, because it's a tag in this case, you see, uh, with the yes, 
with the little yes. one, it's not a tag, it's just a URL. Yes. That's why exactly. you could just have the one with the URL and the arguments and then let users create the tag image and that's fine. That's the minimum. Okay, thank you.